everybody and welcome back to another video from Ochiba Wolf Collection. If you guys happen to be new here, hi, I'm Ochi. I'm a Sailor Moon collector and toy reviewer. I would love it if you would consider subscribing to this channel and joining our little pack here. I'd love to see you guys down there in the comments. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing three items from Japan's most recent Sailor Moon Ichiban Kuji. If you guys have no idea what an Ichiban Kuji is, I suggest you watch this video that I made back in May. I explained what an Ichiban Kuji is and I talk about every single item in this Sailor Moon Eternal Princess Collection Ichiban Kuji. So if you want more information about what Ichiban Kujis are and the items in this particular one, definitely watch that video before you continue on with this one. I'll have a handy link for you guys down there in that description. But for those of you who have already watched that video or are already familiar with Ichiban Kuji items, we're going to continue on. So I have the A prize, the C prize, and the last one prize to open up today. I know you guys noticed the dress. I'm repping Princess Serenity today with this dress. This dress is from Hot Topic back in 2018. I'm not sure if you guys remember it. You'll have to let me know down there in the comments if you do and if you actually own this dress since it came out a few years back. I had the idea to wear this dress and I was like, well, where the heck is it? It was like buried way back in my closet. It's been a long time since I wore it. But yeah, let me know if you guys remember this dress because why is Hot Topic not making very many Sailor Moon dresses anymore? We need more dresses, Hot Topic. But anyways, on to the items. I got these from Yahoo Japan Auctions, which is kind of like Japan's eBay. And I ended up getting these using my favorite proxy service, which is Zen Market. I actually will have a link down there to Zen Market, as well as a tutorial video that I made a little while back on how to use Zen Market to bid on Yahoo Japan Auctions. If you guys want to know a little bit more, I'll have all the details down there in the description. But let's go ahead and start with the C prize. We'll work our way towards the beginning of the alphabet. <laughs> the C prize is an elegant pair of glass cups featuring our princess and prince on them. I really love the box. It's super beautiful and also pretty hefty too to keep those glass cups secure because yes, they are real glass. Very, very breakable. Be careful with these guys. The sides of the box will show each individual glass. So we have Princess Serenity on one side and Prince Endymion on the other. What I really, really like about these boxes is when you go to open them, there isn't any tape at all. You don't have to cut any tape. So you can easily open the box up, remove the glasses, and you can put them back in and store them back in the box. As a collector, I always save the boxes. I have like bins and tubs full of empty boxes. Sometimes I collapse them down to save room and I just keep them in storage because I like to keep the boxes of my collectibles. That's just how I am as a collector. <laughs> but the glasses are really beautiful. As you can see, I'm showing you guys some close-ups of each one. The print on them is very good quality. I've actually have some previous releases Ichiban Kuji glasses they're always durable and good quality for lottery prizes so I do recommend them they're dishwasher safe that's another good feature that's not something we see a lot here in the United States with our just funky products they're always like not dishwasher safe don't you dare put it in the dishwasher because the whole thing is just gonna fall apart <laughs> But Japan makes some good quality glasses, so you can run these through the dishwasher and be fine. And of course, since these are officially licensed products, you guys will see that they have the copyrights on the base of the glass cup. These are so beautiful. Can you just imagine pouring some champagne in these and celebrating something like maybe an anniversary, using these at a wedding, alone, watching Netflix, with a glass of wine, sparkling water, whatever you want to drink out of these. These are a very neat way to have your beverage. Oh no, I'm like this. I am so weird. I am sorry. A unique way to have your beverage. But yeah, those are the glass cups. Man, I love these to friggin' death. But let's go ahead and take a look at the figures. I remember the announcement of this Princess Collection Ichiban Kuji like it was yesterday. They announced it back in May and when people saw 
this photo of the Princess Serenity figure. Oh my gosh, the Mooney world went wild. We hadn't had a figure like this yet. And so a lot of people were anticipating the release of this. I just remember all the hype, man. Everybody was so stoked. I love the Mooney community. But there are two different versions of this figure. So the one right here is the A prize. This is the one that's gonna be more common in what you're gonna see in a lot of people's collections. And this one right here is what they call the last one prize, which I explain in this video if you haven't watched that yet. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this Ichiban Kuji in this one. So watch that video if you want to know more about what the last one prize means. But basically, there is only one in every Ichiban Kuji. There's a couple of these, but only one of these. This one is more rare. They called this one a special color version because the dress in the hair is shiny paint. The regular A version is matte and the special color version has a shiny dress coat and a shiny hair coat. And I'm gonna open them both today so you guys can really see them both up close and personal and decide which one you wanna collect for your Sailor Moon collection. But let's check out the boxes first. I've got the A1 right here. The box is beautiful, just like the cups were. We got Princess Serenity on all sides of the box, showing different angles of the figure, sitting on that cute pedestal. On the top of the A version, you will notice that they do have a Toei Animation sticker on top. More on that later because the special color one does not have that. But other than that, guys, not too much to report on the box. Just a standard Ichiban Kuji figure box. Now, I will be opening mine up from the bottom like I do. You guys know if you're a subscriber of mine, I always try to open my figures from the bottom so I can keep the top looking nice. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up from the bottom here. The figure comes wrapped in this sturdy plastic. It does have tapes on all four sides of that plastic that you have to cut and then you can just pop it open and the figure is wrapped in plastic wrap, keeping the paint nice. You do have to remove the pedestal out of its little baggie. The figure is absolutely gorgeous. She's just a little over five inches tall, I believe. She's beautiful. You do have to place her on the pedestal yourself, but it's super easy to do. I didn't even have to move any of her hair or the back bow. As far as quality goes, no flaws to report. Very good quality control on the type A figure. The A figure is absolutely adorable. I do not regret buying two of these. We want to go ahead and uh, get that special color version out so we can do a comparison. So we'll go ahead and open this one next. So as far as the box goes, it's pretty similar to the A. The only difference is this one has more of a uh, yellow and blue background color versus the pink and white that the type A had. But other than that, guys, it's pretty much identical, of course, other than showing the shiny painted figure on the box. It does say special color on there. And then remember guys, I showed you the top of the A, how it had the Toei animation sticker. This one does not. I do want to point out this is an officially licensed figure and it's very common for the last one prizes and even the double chance prizes to not have the Toei animation sticker. So that's why you're not going to see that. There's not even a space for one like there is on the A. You can kind of see the little dotted outline for a Toei animation placement sticker. This one doesn't have that so it is completely normal. I do want to point out mine are both the Japanese version and I only state this as the type A version will be getting an international release later. More on that in just a bit I promise. Exactly the same deal as the other one. I opened it up from the bottom of the box, pulled her out, she's encased exactly the same. So let's go ahead and get her out of the plastic here. And oh my gosh I love 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 the shiny dress and shiny hair. How can you not? It really adds something more to this already gorgeous figure. I'm just gonna be hyping this figure up this entire video, so be prepared. <laughs> I do think it's really interesting that even the pedestal color is different on each one. The A1 is a more cool tone, and then the last one prize is a more warm tone. I'm not sure why they did that. Maybe they just wanted everything to be different about this. Like I expected them to use the same base, but they totally didn't. They are different tones of white. I'm just sitting here like just really studying them. Oh my god, I love them so much. We needed a Princess Serenity figure, like another one. I know we got that one that was on the moon 
what was it the zero which i've never even opened i'm going to be opening that later on when i do the collection room makeover right now it's easier to keep a lot of my stuff in the boxes so i can uh <laughs> move them out while i work on this room but i had to do this video for you guys to show you the comparison of them now before they get harder to find you guys are going to have to let me know down there in the comments which one you like better like value aside yes the last one prize is going to be a lot more expensive so i want you to forget that in your mind and just tell me which one you like based on looks alone so let me know guys down there in the comments do you like the matte the all matte version or do you like the shiny paint version which one looks better for this type of figure there's no wrong answer guys it's just what you prefer they're both beautiful i love them both i that's why i couldn't pick i had to have them both is anybody else out there crazy and gonna like collect them both uh, let me know if i'm not alone oh but i want to get back to my point that i was telling you guys that there will be an international release of the type a later so let me tell you guys a little bit about that so the Japanese one came out in November 2021 as a lottery, but we got word they will be importing this to other countries as an international release for the end of January, uh, maybe early February 2022. She is retailing $44.99 here in the USA and is already available to pre-order from various retailers such as Right Stuff, Entertainment Earth, GameStop, and more. I also expect places like Hot Topic and Box Lunch to carry her once stock becomes available. Maybe, I want to say February is when you might see them on Box Lunch and Hot Topic. Keep an eye out on our website, SailorMoonFanNetwork.com, as we will make a post when she's available at more places. But if you guys check out the description down there below, I'll include some pre-order links that are already up, like like I said, from like Right Stuff, Entertainment Earth, etc. So if you want to go ahead and grab one on pre-order for $44.99, I will have those links down there below. Or you can try your luck with my giveaway. I have partnered with Zen Market to give away the special color Sailor Moon Eternal Princess Serenity figure. This is the shiny paint version that is not getting an international release, guys, so she's gonna be a lot more rare, and I've got one to give away in this video. I also have another set of the glasses to give away, too, so there is going to be two chances to win two different prizes from this video. I'm so stoked that Zen Market partnered with me to do this because I want to give back to the community as much as possible. And I came to them with the idea of them securing a special color version for one lucky subscriber of mine because I want somebody else to own this special color version. It's just so cool. I just love like a little bit more rare collectibles, don't you? It makes them a little extra special. Listen up because here are the details on what you're gonna need to do to enter this giveaway. First and foremost, guys, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. That will be a requirement. So hit that subscribe button for me if you're not already subscribed. If you're subscribed, you don't gotta do that. That step then head down there to the description there's going to be a link that you need to click and it's going to take you to a page that you can enter to win that page is going to have all of the additional details on how to enter the giveaway follow those instructions guys and that's it super simple subscribe to this channel click that link in the description and follow those instructions i will be drawing the winners january 3rd 2022 we will be reaching out to the giveaway winners remember there's going to be two prizes two winners we'll reach out to the winners around that day or the next day depending on since it's like right after the new year we'll get to you as soon as we can but we will try and draw the winners that day and contact you guys as soon as possible for your shipping address and speaking of shipping as all my other previous giveaways guys these can be shipped worldwide everybody can participate yes that's awesome everybody can enter to win the giveaway i mean you guys watch my videos from all over the world so definitely definitely make sure that we can ship these worldwide wherever you live guys we'll ship it to you this isn't a requirement but i'm just curious um drop me a comment down there below if you guys plan to enter the giveaway which prize you are leaning towards most none of that is going to like <laughs> sway me one way or another the drawing is completely random i'm just curious on which one you guys are going for so let me know down there in the comments if you guys plan to enter the giveaway and which prize you are wanting remember you gotta click that link in the description to to officially enter. Commenting alone is not an entry. I'm really excited to present this incredible giveaway to you guys. You all are the absolute best. You guys always support my work and I am so so grateful 
for all of my viewers. I try to give back whenever I can to this amazing community. Getting sappy here. I'm not normally emotional, okay? I am a air sign and we are not that emotional. Sometimes we suppress our emotions, but man, you guys are kind of giving me a little little tear up in there. Thank you guys so much for all of the continued support as my channel continues to grow. Y'all are literally the best. Before you guys go, don't forget to like, comment, and share my channel with a friend. Watch another video on my channel. I actually started doing vlogs. I just posted vlog number two right before this video, so give it a watch if you haven't yet. I'd really appreciate it. I'm looking for feedback on those type of videos because I want to do more for you and I want to sh do more stuff that you want to see. So check out my last vlog, which is vlog number two, if you want. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment on those vlogs and give me some feedback so I know what to do for the next one. I'd appreciate it so much. But that's it, guys. Please enjoy the holidays. Also promise me that you are going to enjoy dessert this holiday season. Life is too short to skip dessert. <laughs> what I always say since being sober. I'm addicted to sweets. I'm addicted to sweets. You know what? You get a free pass on the holidays. So enjoy something sweet this holiday season. I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully soon. I think the next one's going to be Fan Made Fridays. I'm going to try to push one out before Christmas. I really am going to try, but uh, no promises. Love you guys so much. See you next time. We should have had some ocean bomb sodas in these glasses. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whenever they release the Mars and Mercury one, I'm going to use these glasses for it because last time I used the Sailor Moon Crystal glass, I remember, had the Cosmic Heart Compact on the bottom. Oh, it was from Taiwan. So I'm going to use these glasses for the next Ocean Bomb Soda trying, which hopefully it's soon. I'm really, really freaking excited to try those. Are you guys excited to try those? I mean, I really did enjoy the previous ones. If you guys haven't watched my uh, tasting video of those, they, they were really good. I was expecting them to be like LaCroix because, you know, LaCroix is like unsweetened sparkling water, which I mean, I don't dog LaCroix. I like LaCroix, you know, you just gotta be in the mood for it. But ah, uh, they were more like sodas. They were good, they're so good. Now I got a craving for sweets. Oh, it's like the fifth time today. <laughs> Those dresses are so cute. You guys are gonna have to let me know if you own it. It's really pretty because it includes like the transformation brooch right here on it. Also has um, a Princess Serenity outlined with her beautiful, beautiful hair. Just a lot of like transformation brooch motifs. Like we got one in this flower right here. The kind of just symbol here. It's a very cute dress. I really, really hope Hot Topic comes out with more because we need more dresses. It's been a while. It's been a while. They're dishwashers. They're dis... <laughs> Can't say dishwasher! <laughs> yes! I'm doing another giveaway. <laughs> Why do I have to say it like that? I don't even know. I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to cut that out and probably say a normal yes because that just sounded really, really bad. Blooper! Ooh. I'm going on to my throat. <laughs> it's Saturday. I'm having a good time.